Hey, it's Jade. So I totally forgot to record an intro for this video. So here I am doing a voiceover. As always, if I'm doing an aloe vera pre poo treatment, I go ahead and soak the leaf so I can get all the toxins out of the leaf. If you want to see exactly how I put the aloe vera treatment in my hair, go ahead and click the i card above to watch my updated wash day routine video. Let's get into today's video. Okay, I've just put I've just finished putting aloe vera on my hair and it's starting to drip so i'm just gonna do my laundry <laughs> put my laundry in the dryer and then i will put a plastic cap or a bag over my head so that it doesn't like drip all over the place <laughs> eh. but the curls though i'm thinking of doing a wash and go but i really don't know if i want to do that yet because i kind of just like this vibe of like my hair just being itself we'll see I'm in a strange predicament. There are about to be people in my house and I have to deep condition my hair. And also, I don't know what deep conditioner to use. I have two options. Let me show you guys. Okay, so I have this thing that says it's a protein treatment. But it's not necessarily a protein treatment because I can see the ingredients and there's not really any proteins in like the first five ingredients. So it's not that much of a strong protein treatment. And I feel like it's so thick. Um... And then I have the TJN Miracle Repair X. I feel like I've done damage to my hair because I have used heat on it like twice um, in the past month. <laughs> maybe not month, month and a half maybe. But like I feel like I should use this one. It says it's a curl protein reconstructor with black honey and biotin. But then also when I look at the back like the the black honey and biotin are like the 10th or 11th ingredients and honestly but i do like i do like the i still like the ingredients better than the other one let me look at it again and also in terms of texture i feel like this this one is really thick and the other one is not as thick hmm. decisions decisions I'm gonna use the Miracle Repair X. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do because I don't know. I just feel like I should use that one. Okay, let's see. First impressions. Sorry, my face is really dry because I just shampooed my hair and I really just don't bother to do skincare after I shampoo because I know I'm still going to deep condition. So, yeah. Oh, look at that. It's kind of liquidy. Like if I turn it upside down, actually pour. Cool. It smells like scented body cream. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like bath and body works kind of body cream. I just don't know what smell this is. Actually it kind of sort of reminds me of relaxer and it's also white. <laughs> PTSD. But yeah, let me begin. This is going to be so weird because I usually do this in the bathroom but then today I can't really do that because currently the bathroom is being cleaned like I said, I'm having people over so it's probably going to be weird if I stay there and do my hair huh. It feels nice on my hair First, first impressions it feels nice Okay, so first things first, I noticed the difference between this and my JBCO like deep conditioner is that this one doesn't really clump my curls but it has a lot more slip like naturally like it's just a lot better with like trying to detangle my hair right off the bat like i'm gonna see how it's going to perform after i um let it sit for a while and like go through with like detangling brush <laughs> sorry english is hard sometimes but yeah i'm going to let it sit for a while and see like how it does after i've used heat to like deep condition and we'll see where we go from there let me just do another section 
before I abandon you guys and come back later. I really like the consistency. It's like that. It could actually pass for like one of my leave-in conditioners that I currently use. Feels like it's about the same weight. Actually, maybe it's unfair to compare this with the JBCO thingy because the JBCO one actually says mask. Wow, this one. Let me see what it says. This one just says treatment, so I guess I can actually call all of them the conditioners. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Things are weirdly named sometimes. So I have a rule of thumb, which is actually my thumb. <laughs> But I have a rule of thumb, like I feel like if you put on a deep conditioner and you can't like lightly finger the tangle then it's not doing a great job, at least for me. So this one is doing pretty good in terms of detangling already, although the major test is going to come later on, which I feel like is going to do better. If my hands are already like sliding through like this at this point, then it's probably going to do a lot better later on. And the smell, like I said, it smells like lotion. Like it has a very distinct smell. Just that I don't know enough about smells to place it. So it's a very distinct smell and it's a very like fruity kind of smell. Anyways, I'm going to finish the rest of my head, deep condition with heat, and then I'm going to come back and hopefully, hopefully, because it's a long day, I can envision it. Hopefully, I can detangle on camera for you guys. Like even if it's just a few sections so you guys can see how easy it detangles. But see you in a few hours. Okay, I was about to rinse out my deep conditioner and then I realized that I didn't show you guys my detangling brush test. But let's see. There's a lot of products in like each of the sections because I kind of use half of it. Cool, I like it. Okay, so I just rinsed the deep conditioner out of my hair. I would say it was kind of easy to rinse this out compared to like other deep conditioners I've used because it was not as thick, it was slippery, it had slip, so it was relatively easy to rinse out compared to other deep conditioners. It was a bit foamy which I have seen with a lot of my deep conditioners that I've used so but that doesn't really bother me because I've seen that happen over and over again um I would say on rinsing it out like in terms of how my hair feels my hair does feel soft it just feels a little more strips than usual but I don't know if that is as a result of me not adding honey to the mix because usually you guys know with my JBCO um, hair mask, I add honey into it, like actual raw honey. And I feel like that softens the hair. So I feel like that plays a role. But I feel like even without the honey, <laughs> the JBCO treatment leaves my hair feeling softer than it, it feels right now and less stripped than it feels right now. So maybe I have to try an experiment where maybe I add honey to this hair treatment and see what happens i have to go now and style my hair so to style my hair i'm just doing a twist out like not twist out with gel i don't want to use gel i also don't want to do a braid out because i feel like that's going to take a lot of time for me to take down because i have an early shift tomorrow morning um so i'm going i'm just going to do a twist out and i'm using this leave-in conditioner by the way don't judge the table it's just going through some things right now there's just a lot of stuff on it i'm sorry if i seem scattered my friends are just playing games and i feel like i'm kind of distracted because i kind of want to go back there so i will see you guys if i like talk about this product again hey guys so this is the next day after washing my hair and like deep conditioning and moisturizing my hair so i didn't end up using the um 
man yogurt manuka honey like the spray leave-in conditioner i feel like i just want to give that a moment of its own where i try it out and i also just wanted really wanted to try it out with deep conditioner to see how like the line kind of works so that would be coming another day um so in terms of how my hair feels i took out my hair this morning like from the twist i had them in twist yesterday night i don't know if i showed you guys when i had them in twist but i had them in twist yesterday night and i took them out this morning and they were still kind of damp so i didn't want to like give my reactions based on that because that's not the realistic nature of my hair because it was not fully dry but now um and later throughout the day my hair has been fully dry and one thing i want to say is that my hair feels like i have a lot of product on it but i only use leave-in conditioner like literally my jbcu leave-in conditioner and almond oil but every time i touch my hair my hair just comes out like my hands just feel like there's a lot of product on it um i don't know what that is but one thing that i noticed that is more relevant than what i just said is my hair is softer remember in my olaplex video i was like sometimes like i feel like i just have to accept that this is how my hair is that's a lie my hair is softer than it was in that video where i tried the olaplex treatment which is weird because this is two weeks now after that treatment because i had like um my cornrows in for like two weeks um this is two weeks now after that treatment and usually when i'm when i deep condition my hair after a protective style it doesn't feel the greatest i literally just wait a week and i'm like yeah that was my fake deep conditioning i will deep condition it really next week when i wash my hair again but this time it feels like it doesn't feel as as bad which is weird and it feels softer than me using the olaplex treatment the first and second time like it's just kind of weird it's really weird to me but like i know the olaplex treatment was not for like any softening or anything so yeah but i'm just saying this deep conditioner honestly i really enjoyed using it um like i said if i use it again um in the coming weeks i will insert a clip or i will tell you guys about it but if i don't then it is what it is but so far i kudos to this deep conditioner because i don't know what's inside but it's good okay it was really good for me um yeah the real test though of my hair and moisture is like third day hair so maybe i'll come back on wednesday and tell you guys how my hair is doing i'm going to try my best not to like spray any water or leave-in conditioner on my hair before wednesday today is currently monday and i washed my hair yesterday sunday so i'm going to see how it goes and i will see you guys later okay hey guys so today is thursday i totally forgot to film this for you yesterday um so basically it's four days four or five days after i washed my hair on sunday and my hair feels good it feels good in the sense that it doesn't feel as dry as it will usually feel on day four slash five and especially after like manipulating my hair so much when i say so much i mean like um i've done a couple of styles today and um i've stretched out my hair oh my god sorry phone was going off but yeah i've done a couple of styles today i've stretched out my hair like the night before going to work and stuff like that and usually when i do those things my hair feels drier like than it would usually feel if i just left it alone left it under a wig or something um and i've done that a number of times to know exactly how my hair felt when i did those things so the way it feels right now is i don't know it's beyond me because it feels it still feels good like if it, it still feels like my hair my hair is still coarse my hair is still like i still have very thick strands and stuff it doesn't that doesn't that didn't change right but my hair feels moisturized to the touch um when i pull my hair it's not like feeling like hay stuck <laughs> sorry that's that's literally how my hair usually feels on day four or day five like it feels like hay like straw like that's how my hair feels dry brittle just uncooperative but it doesn't feel like that i've i was able to like manipulate my hair pretty easily today like put it in a style and everything and brush it and it doesn't feel so like problematic 
um so yeah i feel like this deep conditioner really worked and when i take a look at the ingredients list like i just don't understand what exactly in it work because the first five ingredients are where is it the first five ingredients are water glycerin avocado oil jojoba seed oil and cetyl alcohol like <sighs> surprised me because i don't know like the jbcu treatments i usually use i feel like yeah they're like the first three ingredients are pretty similar but like there's one particular ingredient um benchmonium methyl sulfate that i felt like was doing wonders for my hair but upon using this and comparing it to the other deep conditioner i'm just like huh this is interesting and i don't know if it's a situation where it's like oh you've been using the same deep conditioner for so long that your hair plateaus and does not like it anymore or like does it still like it does it not i really don't know if that's the case but yeah i'm surprised and basically what i'm trying to say is i would recommend this deep conditioner or this treatment and since all the miracle repair x like packaging looks the same i wanted to specify that this is the miracle repair x cpr treatment curl reco protein reconstructor with black honey and biotin because there's other ones as well there's other hair treatments in this particular tgin line that look exactly like this but the name is just slightly different so just so we're not confused like this is the exact one i use um yeah uh like i said basically i would recommend i would recommend you using it i feel like the sleep was good like the sleep that deep conditioner gave me the texture the smell it was nice the only thing i would say was rinsing it out and the whole like foaming why does my phone keep going off anyways and the way it just keeps like like foaming when you try to rinse it out that's the only minus i have about it but almost every deep conditioner i've used every treatment mask i've used does the same thing so i feel like honestly it's not even a big deal after a while it just like it rinses out so it doesn't really matter right <laughs> so yeah anyways hopefully this video was helpful um like this video comment down below um subscribe share with your friends and i will go and look at that phone and my laptop and see who is disturbing me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>